any first date yeah. is really scary, yeah. and isn't it? And as a it? result, you act like a complete idiot. <laughs> You we do. Might. You do. Well, I do. I do anyway. Um, and I have plenty of first dates to talk about, unfortunately. But, I mean, where <laughs> do I begin? Um, but, no, my, I remember one first date, um, he said that he liked really ladylike women, and I had fake nails on. Um, and I stuck them on myself, the ones that you buy in the shop, because I wanted my hands to look lovely. He said hands were really important. And I ordered a burger, as you do, dainty, on a first date. <laughs> Tucked into it, and as I squeezed into it, the nail flicked off and landed in his suit. <laughs> and he went, oh, oh. <coughs> And I think mobile phones had just about come about. This is how far we're going back. And I got dumped by text. That was that one. And the other one, um, poor Mick, he is this all the time, Mick Hucknell, bless him. I've dined out on this story. Um, went to Nebworth, watched Oasis, feeling really nervous with all the rock stars, but pretending I, you know, I own it, I'm, I belong there. So you're and, on a date uh, with Mick I'm Hucknell. on a date with Mick Hucknell. We, we've met at a premiere and I can't eat, drinking the champagne, got in the car, engine goes over. I go, <laughs> like that, like something out of The Exorcist. He says, what did you say, babe? <laughs> I've gone, <laughs> <laughs> He had the dreadlocks, the dreadlocks flicked like that. Um, and not long after that, he had to cut his dreadlocks off. <laughs> So was, what, was that from nerves or alcohol or both? Nerves or? and alcohol and the fact I couldn't eat and pretending that I felt like I belonged there when I didn't. I was so nervous. But he took me home, made me a Bless. bacon sandwich, made me ring the mum to say I was safe. Oh. Oh, and, um, and then I was still flirting with him and then I looked in the mirror and I had Alice Cooper black makeup. <laughs> Down my eyes. So the crucial question is, did you hear from him again? Yeah. Yes, I did. Yeah. yeah. So yes, how long I did. did you and then we were friends. No, they, we were basically friends. He was heartbroken over somebody else, so was I. And we were just really great friends in the end that just had this chemistry and we still speak now. For more loose women action, click here. And I'd subscribe if I were you. It's totally free and it means you'll be kept up to date with new videos and exclusive YouTube content. I think Rob thought that engagement was the final frontier. I don't think he thought there was like wedding after that. He was like, you got the ring, it's done. So, so it came as a surprise to him that there was a wedding to follow. It was like the two to the one. So after we got engaged, he was like, I don't, I don't know why we're talking about weddings. We got engaged. So finally, oh, I know. Was that, yeah, I felt like fake fiance for a bit. <laughs>